Hi, we're Butternut Brookwood Chess Coaches, and we're teaching um, offense on opposition. Opposition is when you have a king and a pawn in the game, and the opponent only has a king, and you want to be able to promote that pawn in the safest way to do that. Um, the first step is get your king out in front of the pawn. Um, especially for novice players, they normally think to get the pawn out in front of the king first. The other king can stay in front and kind of act like a linebacker and hold that pawn back. So what you want to do is get this king out in front of the pawn is your number one goal. Number two is if you can't get an extra square, which gives you a little more leeway on being able to get to the end. So in this game, um, I'll be dark and Aaron will be white. So I'm moving out in front, one square, he's coming up. Uh, two squares, I'm already out in front of my pawn. And three squares, I got my bonus square as he's coming down. Now, since this pawn is going to be coming, this king will be coming to here, what we call opposition is when these kings are one square apart from each other. If this ever happens in a game, you want to make sure that you are the last one to go there, so opposition forces the other king to move. So, uh, you were here? Yeah, I'm here. So in this now case, here. you're going to have to use your spare. Um, well, I can just do this right here. Yeah. I'm staying in front. I'm staying in front. Now he has to choose. He can't move forward, all three of these squares are blocked. He will have to move to the side. He'll pick a side. Um, the pawn then, we can move forward if we needed to, but at this point we don't need to since he's moved the side. We do the side step. And there's a side step there. This king can try to chase that pawn, we'll never get there. There's so one, two, three, and this square is blocked. I have to go around, four, five, six, seven, and this, is, this pawn is going to be safe in just two moves. It'll be protected by the king. So all these three squares are safe for the pawn. So it's safe in two moves, and it takes the king more than two moves to get to it. So it's safe. You all can right. leave that pawn way up there. So what are you going to do? So then come back to the middle again. I will come back here. Let's see what you do. And then at this point, since he is so far away, I can go ahead and move that pawn one square. I have plenty of time. And I will move the pawn one more square, and he'll have to move to the side again. So now we do the side step again. Can't get up there to get the pawn in time. One, two, three are blocked. He'll come back to the middle. I'll come back to the middle one more time, forcing the king to the side and coming over this side. And then why don't you go ahead and try to attack the pawn. If you notice, when the pawn goes here, one, two, three, there's like an L blocking that king out. All the king can do is go around. Now it's an easy move forward. Two, three, 